In this long division video, we're going to look at the sum 1020 divided by 12. Once we've answered this sum correctly, we'll also be able to say 12 times the answer equals 1020. So to start with, let's uh, write down our 12 times table. So once times 12 equals 12, 2 times 12 equals 24, 3 times 12 equals 36, 4 times 12 equals 48, 5 times 12 equals 60, 6 times 12 equals 72, 7 times 12 equals 84, 8 times 12 equals 96, and 9 times 12 equals 108, which should take us far enough. <clears throat> so now we need to set the division sum up. We are dividing 12 into 1,020. And the first question we need to ask is, does 12 go into 1? 12 doesn't go into 1. Does 12 go into 10? 12 doesn't go into 10. Does 12 go into 102? 12 does go into 102. We've got... 9 twelves are 108, so that's a bit too much. 8 twelves are 96. So we can say that 12 goes into 102 8 times, and 8 twelves are 96. So we now need to take 96 away from 102 to find out what's left over when you've put 8 twelves into 102. 2 take away 6 we can't do. And we can't borrow a 10 from the tens place because there is no 10. So we need to take it from the hundreds and then write 10 there and then take 1 away. So take 1 from the 10 to leave 9 and then 12. You can make the 2 into a 12, and then you can say 12 minus 6 is 6. So, just to recap that, 8 times 12 is 96, and when you've taken 96 away from 102, you're left with 6. So we bring the next number down, which is 0, and then we say, how many times does 12 go into 60? Well, 12 goes into 60 five times. So five twelves are 60. And just to show that we understand the method fully, five twelves are 60, so we're taking 60 away from the 60 and we're left with zero. So the answer to this question, 1,020 divided by 12 is 85. And we can say that 12 times 85 equals 1,020.